Hi, good morning. My name is Lisa. Welcome to King Worldwide. Hello, everybody. This is my dad, Roy. We oh. always change how we say hello. It's I know. so fun. I know. Okay, welcome. That's to keep you on guard. Keep yes, on I like guard. it. The authentic believer. But today's topic is keeping three tanks full. And you'll learn from my dad in a minute what the tanks are. But I need to say, these these videos are so good. These broadcasts are so good. They help people transition from the natural life, natural world, Christians living in the natural, into living in the spirit. That is how Jesus lived, and that's why he was victorious. And that's what he wants us to do. So go ahead. And the one that benefits the most for this is me. We all do that. I understand. I said the most. I, you can't have You taught most. me that those that do the teaching, they learn from that. I get that's it. That's exactly Glory right. to God. Okay, we have been created to win and to be victorious in everything we do. God has promised us victory, but the devil is going to do everything he can to derail us. However, we must continually check the gauges of three tanks, and you'll find out what that is. Yes. First, when we expect to walk in victory, we have to walk in faith. How do we know if we're doing that? Well, Lisa's going to read Romans 15 uh, 13, and she's going to tell us. Okay, this is coming from the New Living Translation. I pray that God, the source of hope, will fill you completely with joy and peace because you trust in him. Then you will overflow with confident hope through the power of the Holy Spirit. Well, in that particular uh, verse, translation, uh, in that verse, is that, and translation, she mentioned the three tanks. And the three tanks are joy, peace, hope, or expectation. And Praise God, you're on point. Your own point. And at the very end of it, she talks about the power of the Holy Spirit from that verse. And at the end, I'm going to give you an example or two as far as that when you're... Oh, you have three... Excuse me, he's added two more examples that are not on my outline. This will be very good. No, no. They're, just, they're not on mine. They're just one. Oh, well. Well, this and this. Glory to God. Okay. Well, thank it's you. It's always so good. That's good. Yeah, they're good examples. But we're going to show you that um, when we are continuously fed by the word, the key words continuously, is that, one, that's where the power is. And that's where the power of the Holy Spirit starts to manifest in, in your spirit and in your in your life. And, and I'm going to give you an example, at least one, maybe And two. as we always talk about, the Holy Spirit's always there talking. We're just clog, getting the clog, poor, um, clog out of the way. Yeah, it's just like a pipe that is clogged up. With mud. And, and, yes. and the clog of the pipe is our natural faults. That's really what it is. So, That's right, babe. That's right, Dad. So, so the three tanks that we must monitor, as I mentioned, joy, peace, hope, and expectation, or expectation, same thing. And we must, here's a good, we must labor to keep them full because the enemy mm -hmm. is on the prowl. We must labor. Yes. It, it just doesn't happen. Correct. And, and the, uh, we hear in Hebrews, it talks about labor to enter into his rest. And that's what he's referring to. Labor in order to mm -hmm. get into the, <coughs> excuse Glory me, to get into the word <laughs> and to keep those tanks full. Now, that verse says that when we're believing, we have joy, peace, and expectation. Right. Just like what I said. Now, listen to this next verse. This is one of my favorite ones in the entire Bible. Mark 9:23, and it's coming from the New King James Version. Jesus said to him, If you can believe, all things are possible to him who believes. The word was all. 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 And all. is predicated on believing. And, and I know we've heard that all of our Christian life as far as you got to believe, got to believe, got to believe. And, uh, but, but what happens is that, as I said earlier, Satan's on the prowl and what he's doing is to, uh, the, he, he gives the power suggestion of thoughts to us to get us off of believing. In other words, something Lisa's talked about a lot on her, on her individual, mm. uh, periscopes. And that is, is that 
to get our mind off of us, ourself, and get it on Christ. In other words, occupy in Christ. Yes. That's what it, that's what it means by continuously being in the Word. In the past, when I was sporadic, is that the I wouldn't have the power, number one, because I was sporadic. And then number two, it was the case where that uh, the I, I just... I was being controlled by the enemy. That's really what it was because uh, thoughts would be suggested come in into my mind either through other people or things that would come directly to me. And as a result, I was kind of weaving like that from the main road to, to the side road. And the side road is where uh, Satan's in control. The main road is where Very where good. Jesus is in control. So the uh, And I emphasize that as far as believe because I've heard it all my life. And, uh, and the thing that, uh, that really, as far as this series, as far as the authentic believer, it's really driving it home for me as far mm -hmm. as believing. I mean, and you've got to do whatever you got to do in order to believe because when you do, things are going to be yes. kind of hunky dory. So yes, therefore, yes. God's plans for our life is a done deal when we labor to believe. We labor to believe. We put aside things that we want to do for ourselves. Self, we, self, self, yeah, self. We put us. Uh, that's a that's a great point. We put aside things relative to self, to self. Whether it's doing things, reading things, acting on things, we put that aside. We inquire, but we put that aside, and then we we seek Jesus and His way. Someone saying, well, you don't have 20 kids and this, that, and the other, and blah, blah. Let the Lord tell you. We all have different responsibilities. And if we go to the Lord and say, how would you like me to do this? Let's just say I have five kids and we have lunches and schooling and all these things. Okay, that's right. And that's your assignment. Yes, don't complain about it. Embrace it. Let the Lord teach you that even if they're two, they can help you with things. Or the Holy Spirit will teach you how to facilitate him first. He wouldn't tell us this and not give us the way. But if we just say, I can't do it, or you don't understand, or you're just this, or you're, we never will get it. So if, if, you can be, if we can be open to hear what, and stop making excuses. I used to make the excuse, well, I'm not married. Oh, I'm, just, I'm single. I can't do that. Well, that's a lie. Now embrace where we are, and it's the greatest life ever. Wouldn't you say? Oh, yeah. And, and, and I think a key part of what, what Lisa's saying there is that the, uh, if we'll take a few minutes consistently virtually every day, and that being, I don't care if it's 10, 15, or whatever, get up 15 minutes earlier and, 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 do, and do it that way. Just into the Word so that you're tapped into the source, and then when you inquire, you'll be more prone to hear. Yes, and, and that's what inconsistency Lies. gave me right. was lack of hearing, lack mm -hmm. of hearing the Holy Spirit it was because. And I said, "Well, I told her more than once. I'm not hearing the Holy Spirit in the past." And, no, you didn't uh, say in the past for a long. That was the first problem. Yeah, well, I said it right then. Yes, you did. Reason. And then you got to changing your words, and, and then. And, 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 but but it was a fact as far as being consistently in the Word. And not let distractions of the natural world, particularly focused about things about me or things that I wanted to do or accomplish. for the family. Like well, you are not ever selfish. It was for the family. Well, yeah, but it, but it still, it wasn't. I wasn't focused. Let me just let me go get to the bottom line. Jesus was not my first love. That's the bottom. That's the bottom line. That is gut wrenching. Yeah, and, because uh, he isn't for most people, and yeah, that's the well, problem. But it's a process. It's a process where I've gotten to the point where Jesus is my first love, but it didn't happen overnight. I just kept, kept chipping away on. the junk. Yeah. 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 So here's the big question. How do we increase our belief? If belief, if thou canst believe all things are possible to him that believes, how do we increase our belief or our faith? Okay, yeah. so Romans ten seventeen, we all know the scripture, but this is from the New Living Translation. And I'm have to say something after so faith comes from hearing that is hearing the good news about christ so this is important christ <clears throat> is the anointed one and his anointing so it's hearing the good news 
of the anointing, or it's the anointing that breaks the yoke. It's the anointing that sets a us free. If you're hearing Bible and it's not anointed, it's not going to set you free. You're not going to feel change. It's going to be condemnation. So it's very important what we're hearing and listening to and watching. Now, if our gauges indicate we're feeling sorry for ourselves or we're depressed or confused or frustrated, don't feel it's ever going to happen to us. We don't think it's ever going to happen to us then we need to fill the three tanks up. Now let's go back to the basic premise we did for this series. Faith produces expectation. Expectation produces joy. Joy produces strength. And strength yields victory. Yes. It all starts back with belief in faith. Yes. With faith. Yes. It all start, and that's why Mark 9, 23 that Lisa read and I just referred to a second ago, that's why it's been all, all, always one of my favorite because I knew that was a ticket. Now, it took me some time to, to get real close Doesn't to it. Doesn't matter how long. But as long as you keep on, keep it on, then, yes. uh, then uh, it's going to get better and better. And I'll give you an example at the end as I reference that, uh, that why it will or how it will. How do we fill up our tanks? We do it by believing. We said that a hundred times this morning. By increasing our faith, when that happens, when we increase our faith consistently, our expectation soars. It goes up. And when we truly expect that our faith is going, this is key. when we truly expect when yes. our faith is going to produce change, we're going to see results. We're going to see victory start coming close to pass in, in our lives. Now, you have to truly expect, and I'll be real honest with you, is, is the fact is that um, there are some dreams that I've had for years that have not manifested in the natural world yet. However, I expect it I expect for God's promises in those areas to be fulfilled any moment, any moment. My expectation now is at a higher level than it was when I prayed the prayer many years ago. It was hoping then. Yeah, and one would say, well, why did it take so long? Well, I think one, two reasons. One is the fact is that it's taken this length of time because it's a huge huge expectation and, and as a result is that God's going to meet me at my level of faith and so the second point is that what I've had to do is to increase my belief and increase my faith that's how I know it's right on the doorstep and shutting out the natural that was the big thing you did yeah shutting out also. the natural it, it's just like uh, one of the most uh, respected evangelists all throughout the world told me not too long ago, he said, talking about this, this dream, because he's aware of it, he says, your plane is about to land. Yeah. Now, I'm not talking about the plane. He says, your plane of the dream is about to hit the runway. That's exactly what he That's said. That's right. And, uh, and and I believe that. Now, we're going. Uh, Lisa's going to uh, reread Review. Uh, uh, Romans uh, 15, 13 again, and then I'm going to give you the example. I pray that God, the source of hope, will fill you completely with joy and peace because you trust in him. Then you will overflow with confident hope and expectation through the power of the Holy Spirit. Okay. In the past, I have uh, worn a certain type of athletic shoe, a certain <laughs> brand of athletic shoe. Tennis shoe, basically. Well, tennis sneaker. shoe, athletic bed, sneaker, whatever we want to call it. And... Uh, it's been, it's one of the, the top models of that particular brand. I'm not going to name the brand because I'm not advertising for that. It, it, it's one of the top models of that, of that brand. And uh, just last week, I said, well, I'm going to look to see if they've got some new additions because I, I, I needed another pair of shoes at all. And uh, so I went online, and lo and behold, they had something on their site that I've never seen before. It was... Uh, an analysis of one's foot and what shoe so cool. they should wear. Very cool. There was 11 different questions that they asked, that, that the site asked, 
And at the end, it gave the recommendation. It gave, matter of fact, uh, three recommendations, one, two, three, and one being uh, the prevalent one. Well, the model that I've been wearing for the last seven or eight years was not one of those three. Oh, interesting. And, and so uh, I said, okay. I just, uh, it, it wasn't by coincidence that I went and I saw the analysis. Correct. So, uh, so we'll call this the, the new number one uh, model. Mm -hmm. Is that uh, Sally and I last week, we went Director. to- Yeah, we went to the, uh, uh, to the store that we know the people there, where I've gotten shoes in the past, and, uh, and, try, and tried on the new model. Well, uh, and it fit great and all, but here's what, here's what I, I found out uh, that, that it, uh, the reason why is that on the side of, this give you a clue, on the side of it, it's got what they call guide rails. Guide rails built into the shoe for mm. support. Oh, that's nice. So that, so that your ankle doesn't move like that. Well, why It's not is a that, high top. No. It's just guide why, rails. Why is, that, why is that significant? It's because support. years ago, I had the cartilage taken out of my right knee and so, therefore, and the in, Lord has put it back in in the name of Jesus. It's manifest in any moment, and and so therefore, during the time I've been conscious of it, and in the past, I've had uh, some uh, move, exciting times. movement in my ankle, my knee, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But here's what here's what I found out when I tried it on in the store oh. is that there was greater stability, greater support than. Uh, than I'd had with that previous model, number one, that I'd been wearing for the last seven or eight years. Good new years. shoes. We take pictures of them. Well, it's not the... It's really a big deal because you heard from the Holy Spirit to go to the site. You hardly ever go to the site. You usually just... Yeah. Well, maybe you do. Well, but it's a point. The point I want to emphasize mm -hmm. is that my by me increasing my belief, what Lisa said in Romans 15, 13, the power of the Holy Spirit I know is what guided me to the site, to the analysis, to the new model of the shoe. Because it was I, no natural toiling, it was no, no natural anything. I, I had I, I gave no thought to so it. So you see the difference between your thinking Without and the Holy Spirit. You're still using your brain. Right. But you're not it, it, thinking. Here's a second example that I just added on the <laughs> sheet the sheet this morning. Is that um, this this weekend we had our youngest grandson to spend the night with us. And uh the next day after, he, I mean, after he spent the night, the next day, after, right after lunch, is that uh, uh, he and Nana, mm -hmm. they kind of concocted together to play Scrabble, <laughs> which is my most favorite activity I'm to So do. pleased with your words. And, uh, and so Sally was so uh, delighted. Now, it's a big Scrabble <laughs> board, and, and it's, got a, it's got a turnaround uh, underneath it. And so uh, the grandson, he was kind of gradually moving around. He had already put... Uh, the letters on the little trays for all three of us. Matter of fact, he did four trays, so he have a spare. But he turned them backwards <laughs> so that we couldn't see it. We just had to pick a tray. That's so funny. And so when he did, he knocked over. He knocked over, I think, three of the trays. That's so and 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 the letters they just went everywhere. So fun. I was finishing lunch, and I was sitting at the table. And I didn't get too concerned. I wasn't thinking about it. And he picked up all of them. And I think he said. I think he said. Uh, BB, I'm missing uh, six. I think I was the number. Mm. And uh, I really didn't pay attention. I said, well, without even thinking about it, I said, look underneath the curtain Glory over there. Glory to God! And he looked underneath the curtain, and he, and he found one or maybe two, and he found other ones. And then Sally came in. She was helping. I think we're missing one. And uh, there was one left. And... I was sitting there and I was prompted three times. I, I, I'm not kidding. I prompted three times uh, to say, "Look underneath the centerpiece, the centerpiece of our of our table." It's like a flower arrangement. Well, it's a big oh, bowl. Oh, it's a shelf. big bowl and underneath that, yeah. Look, on, I didn't say it. I didn't say it. And Sally came over and she looked at. It. She said, "Oh, grandson, here it is." It's right under the centerpiece. Glory to God. So why didn't you say it? Well, I, I don't know. Good, I, but you I, heard it. So I, good. That's heard, better than the key, ever. The key things that I heard. And that comes from what Lisa read in Romans 15, 13. What a great as that as you increase your belief. Then You're hearing from the Holy Spirit all the time. joy and peace and expectation increases. And with that, 
there's the little byproduct, not little, but it's the huge. It's our guide. The byproduct, as far as the Holy Spirit's getting closer, and he's You're hearing he's it clear, talking, clear. Yep. he's talking, and because of all that, I was hearing more. Glory. And so if so good. If God will do that for me, He'll do it for you. So good. Thank okay. you. What a great story. Thank Have you. Thank a great you. Okay. Day. See you. Bye. Bye.